Hello, this is Jonathan with Vortec. In this video, I will explain the different render settings available in your application. Even if Spaces already has most of the render settings turned on and optimized to bring the best of most of your projects, you may still want to fine-tune some of the adjustments to give it more impact. When you are in the Staging tab, click on the Render Settings button. The first option you will see is the Field of View, which is the angle that will be seen by your camera. Setting the Field of View will dramatically impact the effect of your room. The default setting in Spaces for the Field of View is 60, which is the standard used in most interior design TV shows. It will allow you to see a larger view of your project without having to back up, compared to a very square Field of View, where my whole design will feel a lot more compact. A narrow setting will work better for exterior scenes, while a larger field of view up to 60 or 75 or 80 or more will be suitable for smaller rooms like bathrooms or closets. The next item will be the camera filter presets, where you have a list of different filters that can be applied to your project. When you find one that you like, you can also play with the contribution. The next one down the menu is the color grading, where you have access to exposure, saturation, and then contrast. The next option is one that is not turned on by default, which is called Vignette. When you turn it on, it will add a darker area around your room, which helps centering the focus on the center of the image. You can also play with the intensity, smoothness, and then roundness of the vignetting effect. And finally, we have the edge detection that will add cat-like lines to your project. You can also play with the intensity that will show more of the background and original colors of your project, play with the stroke width, and also the depth sensitivity. Thank you for watching. You can click below to see the final result of this project. Make sure to watch the other videos in this series covering materials, lighting, videos and pictures, VR extension, and way more. If you are interested, we also offer one-on-one -on -one personalized online training covering all of the aspects of the application.